All right, we've got an in-depth video today. We are going to go over how to track your DeFi crypto portfolio. And there's a bunch of tools to do it. And I know a lot of you have maybe coins all over the place, maybe a little on Avalanche, a little on Polygon, maybe some in Phantom, some are staked, some you don't even know where, where it is. And there are tools out there that really help you consolidate and see what's being lent, what's staked where, and give you an overarching picture of where your money is and if it's working for you. So today we're gonna to go through four different tools. The first one is ApeBoard, then we're gonna to go to Zapper.Fi, then we're gonna to go to DBank, and then Zerion, which is just ERC20, so we're not gonna to touch that because we don't just love Ethereum. So what's up everyone? My name's Evan, I'm with Crypto Cash Camp, and the goal of this channel is to get 50 of you, well, let's say 1,000 of you to make 50 bucks a day passively. And we do farming, staking, plug and play opportunities like Helium, also nodes, all sorts of stuff. And right now I'm building out a massive course. So if you're interested in getting a huge discount off being one of the first people to jump in the course, check the link in the description because everything that I talk about, I consolidate into a massive uh, course that teaches you how to walk through step by step. And we also have an advanced course if you're into that too, and you know the basics. All right, so let's jump into this right here. This is ApeSwap. Actually, it's called Ape Board. And what's so amazing about this one is that it tracks not only EMV, so that would be you know your Avalanche, Ethereum, Phantom, Binance, but also it supports, you can click down here and you can add other, you know, other swaps like Luna and Solana. So if you have a ledger with a bunch of different chains, you can also add different chains like Solana. And look, it says sometimes you've used too many protocols, you're probably using too much of their memory, but you can also add different things to your different protocols. So if you go over to here, here's my EVM one, and I can go over here to, let's see if we go to edit, and then we can go to add. I'm gonna do that right now. So this is the one of, of all of them that actually supports Solana, Luna, all these different chains. So you click add wallet, we're gonna go over to Solana. I'm gonna add a little test wallet over here. I'm gonna copy this one throw it in and you can look, I mean, look at all these. You can add Cosmos, you can add Arbitrum, Boba, Kronos, Ronin. It's pretty amazing. So we're gonna go add, and then I think it slowly connects up and looks at everything that you have. So we're gonna go back to view dashboard. And we can start going down. Ooh, we can see the soul. That was quick, super quick. All right, we see that, that I have some UST staked on Anchor. Just don't mind that. You know, these are just little, this little test wallet. You have some things staked over here. What's going on over there? You can see you have a little something on Mirror Protocol. It's just really interesting to just see all the things that you have going on. And I think you can even go back to your EVM chain over here. You could put them all in one, which might be even easier for you to look at. Um, but this, it's quite good in this sense. And you actually get to see what are the values. And you see in this little corner right here, let's see if you can see that. It shows you what chain. So you can have Phantom on Polygon, you can have Phantom on Phantom. This is Harmony, this is BSC, Avalanche. And yes, they really want you to uh, undo your, the amount of protocols you have, but we're not gonna do that right now. Um, and then you can see, yeah, you have some DeFi Kingdom. So it picks up a lot of the different things I have staked and farmed, not everything, but a lot. And that's what's great about it. Also, it doesn't support Moon River. Yeah, that's one of the things that I've noticed. There's nothing quite on Moon River right now. So that could be, you know, that could be added, but that's fine. So we go over to Zapper. This is the one that most people know about, Zapper.Fi. What I do here is there could be a potential airdrop. So if you are using it, it's good to go through and keep using it. Maybe you want to do a swap. You can swap within Zapper.Fi right here, um, exchange, and you can go, I guess they support these chains, which are the main chains you would be using and you can go ahead and swap between the two. But if we go over here, we're gonna see what the layout looks like, and then we're gonna go over. So this just allows the EVM chain. So EVM is um, you know, Avalanche, Phantom, um, Matic, uh, Ethereum, and they just support those chains. And I just pretty much showed you some of the chains that they support. These would be the ones, Avalanche, Ethereum, Optimism, BSE, Phantom, Polygon. So if you're in those, awesome. This is a great space to be. And yes, they also show the farming and staking. Oh, they also support Harmony One. And you can see what's going on over here. So we can go to exchange. You can even bridge. 
uh, I don't know their bridge rates, but remember every one of these protocols is uh, charging a bit of a premium to make money for their protocol on these bridging efforts and also on the swaps. Um, Open Ocean is always one I love for if you're doing a swap, just because it aggregates the best rates. I mean, you can't you can't beat the rates you're getting here. Um, so if you're just trying to make a bunch of use this one to get the potential airdrop. Remember, we don't even know if there's an airdrop. Sure, use the exchange here. If not, use Open Ocean. But it's a little um, off the point right now. You can do basic things that like you can pool. And remember, uh, they have they offer these different you know chains. So you can go. These are just going to be the big docs, like the quick swap. You're not going to see like the super good deals. Look, you're getting a couple percent, you know, six percent on Matic, you know, Ethereum. Like, I'm not jumping up and down for any of these. Oh, look, 20% for Matic USDC. You know, you could do this simple swap, but hopefully you're, you're not using this interface because you get very few options to choose what to do. You're not getting a very, very advanced DeFi, uh, DeFi tactics. And look, you can go straight and farm from here. Let's see what we got. We got, you know, the big guys we got the curve, sushi, quick swap. Yeah, I mean, that's cool to do it, but hopefully you get a little more advanced and you don't have to go this way. And you can just go through and, oh, you can show available to stake, meaning you, have, you would have the coins to stake. So that's a little, uh, a little simpler. Okay, let's go over to this one. It might have the cleanest interface out of them all. Um, this is DBank, and DBank is awesome because it's clean, but it doesn't support a ton of chains. Yes, it still has Kronos, um, Avalanche, Phantom, um, but um, I, I actually kind of like the user interface. So this one is picking up Mimas when the other ones didn't because they actually don't support Harmony 1. No assets, no assets, Harmony 1, Harmony 1. So yeah, they don't support Harmony 1. So I'm finding... I'm a guy who likes all these different chains, so I'm going to have to use, you know, 8Board or Zapper for Harmony 1, and then DBank. Well, DBank actually gets deeper on Kronos chain, which these ones didn't. So it kind of ends up being not one solid tool until, until one of these builds out super well. But um, I think this one has a lot of data. So this has like a little loan, loan thing I'm doing on, on Kronos, which is nice. Um, but yeah, you know. I think one of the best values values here is to look over here at approvals. And a lot of times, just this is super important, is a lot of times we leave ourselves open to unlimited spend on many different protocols because we have allowed them to do it. So let's go over here and I have approval amount. I have infinite expo exposure to USDC on PancakeSwap. Yeah, it's a big dog, but I would definitely be there to decline these transactions. And I'm going to connect my ledger so I can actually show you what this looks like. All right, so let's jump into this. So now I'm on Polygon. Remember, we are on DBank. We're looking at approvals right here. Let's see if we can zoom in for you. Approvals right here on the top. And this is probably one of the best parts of DBank is you just de-risk your entire MetaMask wallet, especially if you're not using a ledger. You need to do this. You like you absolutely need to do this. And if you don't have a ledger, there's a link in the description. Always use this guy. This is uh, this is the X. It's wonderful. I have the S, but this is updated tech. This is like just made recently. Also, if you haven't liked the video, make sure to like. It really helps get this video out to more people that need to see it. All right, so here we are. We're at Polygon. Make sure your your MetaMask dropdown is set to Polygon. And what we're going to do is just simply click decline. And what we have opened up is we have DAI opened up to unlimited spend. And we have unlimited spend on SushiSwap enabled. So if there's an exploit on SushiSwap, let me approve this transaction, then um, they could take all of your DAI out. And we want to close all of those infinite, um, infinite spend approvals because we don't need that in our wallets. Perfect, done. Sometimes it doesn't work like this and we have to refresh. Um, yeah, I would definitely decrease these, these, and these. <laughs> not open source, not open source. So we'll see if those, if those actually work. And what are we going to check right now? Let's go over and check what we can do over here. Um, I don't even actually know if I have enough Binance gas right now to do this. 
Sure, let's do this again. So we're going to go quick over to Binance Chain. And remember, you guys should, should certainly be doing this if you get anything from this video. So we're going to go to decline this. We're going to pay that 20 cents BNB. Improve the transaction on your ledger. Just click right, 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 right. Accept. So if, if any of this is a little over your head, uh, check the link in the description for the course. I'm really building that out. It's everything that I know consolidated into one concise module by module course. Um, so yeah. All right, so this is an awesome tool for doing that. You know, it's great. It doesn't have everything here. It's clean. And in the end of the day, I would probably open, I mean, I do open all three. Zapper, uh, Zapperfy, I don't know if I love the interface and I never use the swaps inside of these. Um, but I do think that this one deserves an honorable mention. This is Zerion, so if you're just an ETH maxi and just have all ETH, this is great. But since, oh my gosh, look at those gas fees. That's, I don't think I've seen that high of Gwei for a while. Anyway, so let's not talk about this one too much. Ape is like this great user interface. You can total. I mean, I think the user interface on Ape board, let's just go through this with you guys, looks the absolute best. And they support these other chains like Luna and Solana, which is wonderful. This is just EVM based. You can actually see the different chains they support right here. Celo, Genosis chain, the new one, Optimism. So that they support a lot. And then you go over here to uh, DBank, and they also have a lot of interfaces. Very clean. This is like very crisp, like kind of Silicon Valley look. All right, let's let's check. Let's show you these couple features over here. So this feature over here called bundles just allows you to add multiple wallets, so you can see them all in one clean interface. Profile just does one wallet at a time. And feed, I guess you could be really into their ecosystem and follow a bunch of whales. I started doing this, and see this guy has 100, you know, 105 million, and this guy has 49 million. So I guess by how how much activity they do, they're ranked. But this is also interesting. Obviously not the best way to see all the different protocols, but if you want to go look at what are the best synthetic assets. Okay, synthetics. M stable, Pendle. This is interesting. Maybe you can find some, some new projects. Um, what's an algorithmic, the top algorithmic stable coins? Okay, Frax. Tomb is not an algorithmic stable coin. Atlas, I haven't looked into it. Angle is, yes. So you can kind of go through these. I mean, I'm seeing that some of these things aren't DAO. We do not want to get into DAOs. Um, we can go into yield aggregators, convex, fixed forex. Interesting. I don't know that one. So you can find some interesting projects. But remember, again, another tip DeFi Llama. If you want to get deep into a chain and find out what's going on, go to DeFi Llama. Go to the chain you're interested in. Let's go to Phantom. And then start looking at the top protocols based on total locked value. Open them all up. You know, this is not a good example, but you go down here, click website, and boom. Yeah, we. I'm not promoting DAOs, um, but this is what you can do. So check it out. So if you're into actually tracking your DeFi wallets, remember Eight Board. You know, it may be like what chains you're on, what works for you. So I would definitely open Eight Board um, over here. Let's go to Zapper, uh, and then let's go to D Bank. So just use those three. Aport, Zapper, DBank. Maybe I should put those links in the description. Um, but yeah, um, if you're interested in having more up to date content about making passive income in the DeFi space, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys on the next video.